Hey everyone, I hope you're all having a great day so far today. In this video today, I wanted to share with you all why mathematically a universal basic income is better for lower wage workers than a minimum wage increase. Okay, so there's been a lot of talk for years now about raising the minimum wage up to a living wage of $15 per hour. And mathematically, it's simply not as good as just giving people tax-free universal basic income because of the taxes. So in this graph, or in this chart, every single number in red is representing a tax number. In the top column, I have wages per hour. Then the number of hours worked per year is the same. It's 2,080 for 52 weeks in a year for 40 hours a week. Then you have your money per year, your taxable income, which is your money per year minus the standard tax deduction of $12,000. Then you have your Social Security Medicare tax, which is 7.65% combined. Your federal tax, which you can get from taking your taxable income and looking up on the federal tax tables. And then I have state tax. I used Indiana because that's where I live right now. And in Indiana, we have a flat tax rate of 3.23%. And then you have your county tax, which in Marion County, where I live in Indianapolis, is 1.62%. And then from there, we get our total tax. Our take-home pay is just the total tax subtracted from the money earned per year. And then we have a universal basic income line. Zero dollars during the Bernie Sanders plan of $15 per hour. So your total is just take-home. But here we have our take-home pay plus the $12,000 in total because it's all tax-free money. And then that gives us our total take-home pay. So if we start off with $15 per hour, you make $31,200 per year. $19,200 is taxable income. Your Social Security and Medicare tax is based off of the total in the year. So that's $2,387. Federal tax is over $2,000. State tax over 600, county tax over 300 gives you a total of 5435 in total tax. So your take home pay is 25,765. Now, if you go by the federal minimum wage, and let me tell you, there's not that many actual minimum wage jobs out here. Even if you work at McDonald's, you make nine dollars per hour, which is this column here. If you work at Walmart, you start off at 12 an hour, okay? All the Walmarts around here start at 12 an hour. So at $7.25 an hour, you make $15,000 a year. It's like, oh, that's not that much money, right? But your taxes, your only taxable income is $3,080. Now, your Social Security and Medicare tax is based off the larger number, $15,000. But then your federal tax is only $300. Your state tax is only $99. Your county tax, only $50. So your total taxes for the year in comparison to 5,435 is only 1,611. So your take home pay before UBI is considerably less at 13,469. But when you add in the universal basic income of $12,000, your bottom number, your actual total take home pay after universal basic income is barely $200 less than it is at a, uni at a federal livable wage. So it's uh, 25,469 versus 25,765. So it's actually pretty comparable. But if you get a regular job that's a little bit above minimum wage, like a McDonald's job at $9 an hour, even $9 an hour, your take home pay, you're gonna get 18,720. 18720 before taxes, 6720 6, is taxable. Your Social Security and Medicare tax is $1,432. And then you have 673 in federal tax, 217 in state tax, 109 in local tax, which gives you a total of $2,431. So your total take home pay before universal basic income is about $9,000 less than over here. But after your universal basic income, if you make even $9 an hour, you're going to be making $28,289 per year of actual take-home pay after taxes. That's why universal basic income is inarguably better for poor people living on a 
on a low wage job than a $15 hour minimum wage because you actually make more money by $2,524. That's $2,524 more money after taxes than a federal minimum wage and that's only at $9 per hour, okay? So if you actually made $15 an hour, which isn't impossible to make, there's plenty of construction jobs and stuff that start off at $15 an hour around here, then you're gonna have 37,765 because it's just this number plus $12,000, okay? So that's one of the biggest reasons why I don't support a living wage, minimum wage hike of uh, up to $15 an hour and ignoring the issue of universal basic income because when you hike up the minimum wage that much, you're going to be discouraging small businesses, you're going to be encouraging automation, and you're going to really see that companies, if you're only bringing $10 an hour worth of value to the company, you can get hired at $9 an hour because you're still bringing a dollar worth of value every hour as profit for the company. But when you start having more money being charged, if you're only bringing $10 an hour worth of value, you can't get $15 an hour. In fact, even if you bring $15 an hour worth of value to the company, you're not going to make that much because they can't afford you because of the payroll taxes and because of the Social Security and Medicare tax that they have to match. So if you're only bringing $15 an hour worth of value, you can get a job here. And with universal basic income, you'll actually make more than with the federally uh, raised minimum wage up to $15 an hour. And that's what people are missing in this whole equation is the taxes. How the taxes play into it actually is very beneficial towards universal basic income. Now, if it was taxable income, it wouldn't work like this. But the beauty is, is that it's actually tax-free income. And because of that, it goes right to the bottom line. And because of that, you'll actually make more money working for $9 an hour with universal basic income than you will working for $15 an hour. And it'll be a hell of a lot easier for people to hire you at $9 an hour. It'll be a hell of a lot easier for a small business to actually have employees at $9 an hour or 10 or 12. It doesn't have to be $15 an hour. Even if you're making $12 an hour, you're going to be making far more money because of universal basic income than the $15 an hour minimum wage and the $15 an hour minimum wage puts all the stress on the employers and it is very hard to actually hire people and to keep employees because of payroll taxes and social security and Medicare that they have to match. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational and if it was, please leave me a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel. And until next time, peace.